What is the spice of the bay leaf? What medicinal properties does it have? When is it good to chew a bay leaf every day? Watch the video to the end and learn about the health qualities and therapeutic properties of the most common spice. The bay leaf is probably the most common spice, which of course is in every kitchen cabinet. These fragrant leaves are used in the preparation of various dishes. On their basis, make compositions that have a therapeutic effect. They are used to improve the body and the prevention of diseases. One of the ways to use them is to chew the dried leaves. What is the spice of the bay leaf? Laurel leaves are the leaves of an evergreen tree that grows in the subtropics, called the laurel. This tree has been known since ancient times. It was believed to have magical properties, to be a spice with a pleasant aroma, and a medicinal plant. These leaves contain vitamins and minerals, essential oils, polyunsaturated fatty acids, camphor, organic acids. All these elements have a high biochemical activity and accelerate various reactions occurring in the body. A total of 65 components are considered to be present in the laurel leaf. So rich is this plant with elements that are catalysts and gas pedals of everything that happens in the body. It is not without reason that the laurel leaf is a symbol of greatness, leadership. A plant capable of bringing prosperity and warding off disease and unpleasantness. What are the medicinal properties of the bay leaf? The list of useful qualities and possibilities of positive effects on the body is quite impressive. Here are just a few of them. It has antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal action, gets rid of various microorganisms, helps to cope with infectious diseases and local inflammatory reactions caused by the reproduction of microflora. Thin sputum, clears the bronchi, reduces secretion and irritation of the mucous membrane of the airways, which helps ease breathing and reduce the intensity of coughing, helps normalize the microflora of the skin, mucous membranes, and intestines enables the development of resident microflora and reduces the activity of pathogenic and conditionally pathogenic, leads to the strengthening of protective factors of the body, has a restorative and immune-stimulating action, normalizes immune response, vitaminizes the body, increases the concentration of minerals necessary to maintain proper metabolism, strengthen bones, adequate hemodopoiesis, Relieves overexcitation of nerve endings, strengthens muscles, relieves cramps and tremors of the extremities, inflammation and pain in the joints. Cleanses the blood from salts and heavy metals, stimulates the excretion of toxins. Normalizes the tone of blood vessels, makes the vascular walls more elastic and the lumen of vessels more wide, which allows you to control blood pressure and therefore the correct blood flow in both large vessels and capillaries. Leads to tissue regeneration, has hemostatic and astringent properties, envelopes the mucous membranes, reduces the possibility of microtraumas and erosions. Increases the filtration capacity of the kidneys, leads to the removal of excess fluid from the body, through diuretic action eliminates edema. Creates an opportunity for good digestion of food, stimulates the digestive glands, the activity of digestive enzymes, regulates bowel motility, leads to the elimination of constipation. By acting on the secretion of glands located in the stomach, stimulates appetite. It improves mood, relaxes the nervous system, stabilizes sleep, speeds up falling asleep and makes it easier to get up in the early hours of the morning. It is a strong antioxidant, which means it prevents the development of chronic inflammation and cell mutations. The effects of the laurel leaf in completely different ways of using it are on the whole body. There is no organ or system to which the beneficial qualities of this plant have not spread. Fragrant leaves help. Relieve general tension and get rid of overexertion rather quickly. Clear the respiratory tract of mucus and microorganisms. To normalize digestion and absorption of useful and nutrients. Normalize the condition of the heart muscle and vascular walls. Reduce inflammation and pain in the joints. Make optimal functioning of the kidneys and urinary tract. Regulate hormonal status and hemodopoiesis. Deal with skin diseases. Increase metabolic activity. Reduce blood glucose and cholesterol concentrations. Get rid of toothaches. Get rid of dandruff on the head. Get rid of foot fungus. The bay leaf is used as a seasoning for dishes. It is put during the preparation of first and second courses. Added to aromatic and spicy drinks. The bay leaf is used to make infusions and decoctions, to steep the leaves in a thermos, and to add them to bath water. 
Another possible way to use all the positive qualities of the bay leaf is to chew the leaves. When is chewing a bay leaf every day helpful? Start chewing bay leaves with half a bay leaf so that the high concentration of essential oils does not immediately overwhelm the oropharyngeal mucosa. Increase the concentration of the bay leaf extract obtained by chewing gradually. Chew it thoroughly, grinding it almost to a powder. Do not try to swallow a dry large leaf, it may get stuck in the throat and make it difficult to breathe. Chew once a day for a few minutes, then spit out what is left. When is chewing a bay leaf particularly effective? The intake of beneficial substances from the laurel leaf during chewing will alleviate the symptoms of respiratory disease. Having antiseptic activity, the resulting concentrate will quickly get rid of bacteria and viruses. Chewing the bay leaf will reduce the pain in the throat that accompanies tonsillitis and pharyngitis. The swelling that occurs during laryngitis will go away, and the voice will become clear and clear again. If periodontal disease is tormented, gums are swollen and bleeding, teeth begin to wobble. Chewing a bay leaf will help control this situation as well. For the prevention of tooth decay, inflammation of the gums and tongue surface, especially if frequent stomatitis develops. After the concentrate from the chewed leaves has had a positive effect in the mouth and throat, it enters the stomach and intestines, where its positive effects also persist. There is an increase in the secretion of hydrochloric acid, which is useful in gastritis and enzyme deficiency, as well as to increase appetite. If after an illness you don't want to eat at all, you should chew a bay leaf and your appetite will appear. If you chew a bay leaf every day, your systemic and local immunity will increase. The body will have a strong defense against germs, viruses, and fungi. This is especially true during the period of increased activity of respiratory viral infections, that is in the winter-spring season. This use of bay leaf will protect against infections, prevent infection, and will not allow the disease to disrupt all plans. After the use of bay leaves, bad breath disappears, it becomes fresh breath. Entering the body in this form, which is where the maximum concentration of useful ingredients is noted, which immediately from the oral cavity enters the bloodstream, since under the tongue there are a large number of vessels. Remember, in order for the pill to work faster, it is placed under the tongue. The substrate of the chewed leaf is quickly absorbed under the tongue and the nutrients get into the bloodstream, which spreads them throughout the body. If you chew the leaf before going to bed, it will banish insomnia, and if you chew it in the morning, it will wake up your stomach and cheer you up. Just never swallow bay leaf gum or talk while chewing dry leaves. This can cause the flat leaf to stick to your throat and you will have to seek medical attention to remove it. Chewing the bay leaf can also improve your metabolism, this procedure helps reduce cholesterol in the blood, and is useful for diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Chewing bay leaves is not recommended for elderly people and children, women during pregnancy and lactation, people with neurological and mental disorders. Chewing bay leaves is useful, but you should treat this process carefully. Do not be distracted by anything for a few minutes, so that there are no complications.